Hello, welcome back Zero K fans, this is Shadow Fury 63 with another exhibition match. So for the last game, apparently Steel Blue was really rusty. So while they weren't playing up to their elo, it was just they hadn't played in three months. That makes sense, okay. So Ivan D just pointed that out, Ivan D was their opponent that game. Now we're going to have Snuggle Base and Aquanim. So for those of you who have watched the tournament, Snuggle Base should be fairly familiar. They used to be known as Flaccid, and no longer are, and I made a really dirty joke about that during the casts. But... That's not what we're watching here now, we're watching just an exhibition match between the two players. So Akronim was not in the tournament, but... Snugglebase actually got up to... Basically around like tied for fifth, I think. That works? Yeah, Yago and fourth. Yeah, they were basically tied for fifth in the tournament. Yeah, fifth place tie. Forever in Snugglebase. Right behind Yogstoth and, of course, Golden Drone and Google Frog won that tournament. In that order. So, they're quite good. Aquanim, on the other hand, is Google Frog's training partner. So, they're quite good, and probably their elo is low because they're Google Frog's training partner primarily. Or at least they used to be. Also, this is going to be on Avalanche, which, fairly small map. Should be familiar. Very rush friendly. It's like 8x8. Eight eight. Got about 10 metal in the center. You have about 4 metal you can easily get near your base, or 6 in the southeast. Oh, I'm missing one. Yeah, okay. There's six. Just the factory... The factory teleportation blast is kind of getting in the way. Yeah, both players are probably familiar with this map. Akronim going for Cloaky Bot. Snuggle Base going for Shield Bot. Snuggle Base probably going to... I think I just go for Bandit Rush? I've seen Dirtbag Rushes in the past in this map, but that was before they changed to work against bots as well. However, looks like we're going to be seeing just... Early Bandit Rush until... Oh no, Early Bandit Scout, but Convicts afterwards. Bandit and Rogue. So yeah, Snuggle Base is playing a bit for the long game. Aquadim also just scouting out. Nothing really too cheesy. Neither player going for anything particularly aggressive. Right. We aren't seeing any Warrior Rushes or, I guess, Thuglaw Rushes? I don't really know what Shield would do, honestly, other than Bandit Rush. The only cheese I've really seen on this map is Warrior Rushes and... Slasher rushes, but no one's playing light vehicles, so slasher rushes are off the table. And Snuggle Base, unfortunately, not quite getting their bandits out of the way of Aquanim's glaives quite yet. Still, Snuggle Base is slightly ahead. Very slightly, though. Aquanim, they are catching up. They're actually. Are they pulling ahead? I think they might be pulling ahead slightly. Yeah, Aquanim looks like. Are they going to go for the south? Because going for the south is usually a powerful option on this map. They go over the south area where there's basically four, plus 14 metal in total. That is very powerful. Should not be underestimated. Looks like Smuggle Base is forcing Aquanum back though. Aquanum doesn't want to be defensive, I'm sure. They're playing Cloaky Bot Factory, which is a very aggressive factory. Being forced back like that is not the best option. Although, if Aquanum, they went along the north side here, they could have harassed it fairly easily. No one's taking south yet though. It looks like... Neither player is really even going for it either. Both players still focused on getting their main base, getting some reclaim for energy, just to avoid having to build as many energy plants or as many power plants as they might otherwise have to. It looks like Snuggle Base is going more quickly for the stable power. In fact, Aquanum has no power plants at this point. They're, they've been relying entirely on reclaim for their energy needs. While Snuggle Base, on the other hand, they're going for a bit more of a long game permanent power solution. And Aquanum. Surprisingly going over to Rocco's. I mean, I don't know if they knew about the rogues in advance, so that would make sense if they knew that. I don't think they did, though. They do now, though. So building warriors right now wouldn't be the best option. They might still do so, and it wouldn't be a terrible idea, because there's only like, one or two rogues, and they do have the glaives to counter them. Although that's not going to work out too well. That rogue... Ooh, that was a honeypot right there. Pulled those glaives back to their deaths. Although, wow. Ouch, that bandit did not get micro. doesn't need to. Yeah, that was... That rogue. That was just bait. Pull back the glaives. Killing two of Akinem's glaives for very little cost. I mean, the bandits... Okay, the bandits died, but the rogue is still alive. The rogue is still being a problem. Those glaives, they really wanted it, but nope. That's not going to happen. Nice trick by Snuggle Base. Very well done. That was, it's always worth considering that. Like, what's your opponent going to do? What are, They see a unit. What are they going to do about it? What can you do to respond to that response? Snugglebase had that on point. 
They have been pushed back a bit afterwards, but still, that was... Actually, you know what? I'm praising Snuggle Base all this time, but Aquanum's actually starting to take the south. So Snuggle Base has not taken the south at all. They're being very defensive along the along the south edge of their main base. But yeah, they haven't actually built that up too much. They do, however, have a decently large reclaim field right near them. How big is this? This is about 257 metal. Not terrible. At this stage in the game, that's that is respectable. Snuggle Base, however, needs to actually take that. And despite the fact that Aquanum did lose a few glaives for no good reason, this actually hasn't bitten them in the butt yet. Snuggle Base has not really reclaimed this. They still have that rogue for a bit of taunting purposes. But otherwise, it doesn't really matter. Aquanum has switched over pretty heavily to Rocco's. They still have a glaive just in case. But yeah, pretty heavily Rocco glaive. And Aquanum is still going rogue bandit. So basically, this is just a test game for how much rogue bandit and Rocco glaive work against each other, but that... Well, so much for the Glaives. <laughs> the Rockos are still there. The Glaives are not. The Rogues are being a pain in the butt. The Glaives are still being a counter to it. And Aquanum still taking south, though. They have, they're have they slowly but surely taking it. They're not naked expanding south, but they are expanding south. And they're trying to take this Reclaim field as well. I think pretty much... Safe Reclaim money is 234 for Aquanum. And only about maybe 120 for Snuggle Base. If Snuggle Base were to take it. Seriously, why is Snuggle Base? Are you not taking that reclaim? It's right there. Your commander is right there. Being idle. Not to mention this metal extractor, but more importantly, the reclaim. The metal extractor can wait until you've secured the area. The reclaim cannot. Although, admittedly, Aquanum isn't reclaiming either. This is very strange. These idle commanders here that are not reclaiming. I don't understand this. Anyway, over to the south, we do see Aquanum is coming in and dealing a fair amount of damage. The Glaives are... Well, I'll have to deal with the Lotus, but not for too long. Should be able to get rid of a couple Metal Extractors. That's one down. They should be able to take this one out. They have to be a bit careful, though. The Bandits are coming after them, but they're not coming after them fast enough. There we go. That second Metal Extractor is dead. And after that, it's going to be... That's it. The Glaives are going to do no more than that. Nope. But still, two Metal Extractors for two Glaives. Not terrible. But once again, Snuggle Base has Reclaim they can easily take. So does Aquanim. Why no Reclaim? I don't understand this. Especially being that Snuggle Base is being forced to be slightly defensive. It's it's slightly being pushed back a little bit. They are taking the south, however. But Aquanim can easily break that if they want to. Actually, surprisingly, Aquanim... Oh, they don't know! Radar Shadow! Right here, they have no idea that this is taken. They probably have figured it out by now. They see there's a dot here. There's only one reason why there would be a dot there. Like, there's no other reason for that to be the case. So they, they'd they likely know. They haven't pushed down yet, but Snuggle Base now moving forward. This is where the shield by factor becomes scary, is defensive play into counterattack. Like, Snuggle Base has been playing defensive. They've been blocking off units. They've been building defenses, expanding a little bit, but mostly just building up defenses. Now they have quite the large army to deal with this, to push everything back. And Snuggle Base... They're going to have to deal with the fact that ticks are a thing. Akronim does have ticks, and they are going to use them. We see them in the build queue as... just Is it this one? That's the only one. So there's only one tick. But that tick is going to be a major problem. If Snuggle Base isn't careful. And how much... 445 reclaim. What the heck? This, this convict's dead, however, so that that south expansion is no longer the case. There's no longer a thing that's happening. In fact, it looks like that Glaive's going to have free reign to tear apart the rest of this stuff, too. But reclaim time is now for Snuggle Base. It's over for Aquanum, but Snuggle Base can still take it. Aquanum, being very cautious, wants to make sure that this they keep this with the Stardust, but even then, I don't think that's going to be enough. There are so many rogues right now. There's nine rogues. That's enough to take out the Stardust. No problem. The Stardust does not have the range to deal with these. And that tick is almost wasted. Two bandits for a tick. That is technically by the money worth it. Technically. It's very, very slight. If you look at the cost of a tick, 120. So yeah, it's 120 for 150 metal worth of bandit. So that was technically worth it. But at this point, I don't think that was exactly what Snuggle Base is afraid of. Like, Akronim would have wanted all these rogues 
That's what they would have wanted. All the rogues to be completely stunned out, and then the glaives just rush in and rip them to shreds. That would have been the ideal case. Two bandits is bare minimum. What happened there? Yeah, at this point, Snuggle Base basically lost the south side. They still have an economic advantage, though. They actually, even without reclaim, do have the economic advantage. Aquanim... Where's reclaim? Once again, like, Aquanim does have reclaim available. Wait a lot, actually. How much reclaim is in this, cent this center field? Thousand, rec thousand metal worth of reclaim. None of which is being taken. Actually, the commander probably should move back, come to think of it. Those rogues are going to kill us. Right, right now, actually, if they're not careful. Oh, not quite. Wow, never mind. Okay, now the commander's not being careful. Now it's getting hit. After two volleys of being clearly missed. Ah, Skazi, right, pointing out. Commander is actually baiting these rogues back. Which is not going to work. I think Snuggle Base is wise to that. Now the Glaive, on the other hand, that Glaive is going to completely be base. In fact, Snuggle Base at this point, I think they are getting a bit overconfident about what they can do. They're trying to kill the commander. They were just trying to kill that one glaive and I guess push forward, see what they can do with it. It's a little odd. But it doesn't even matter. Snuggle Base's commander able to come in and Well, continue to deal with this stuff, but still why no reclaim? Actually, Snuggle Base's commander is dead! Or very nearly. It's gonna be two shots before it's dead. Hammer's shot and Rocco's dead. Oh whoa, whoa, what? That's not death? Wow! That. How did that not die? That's amazing. That commander should be dead. Like, no joke, that, that commander should be dead by now. I am very surprised that happened, the way it did. Okay, so there's that. That happened. Rather surprisingly, but it did. And at the same time, bandit attack in this main base, which is not going to do too much, unfortunately, for Snuggle Base, but... Snuggle Base actually has pulled ahead. Very slightly, but it's it's close. It's really... Honestly, if someone starts taking this reclaim... And Aquanim, there we go! Aquanim is taking the reclaim. Now Aquanim's going to have a chance to pull back. They have the reclaim. They have a sharpshooter. Very good choice of counter. They are... If they are careful about this, they have their commander fully healed up. They have their commander... Oh! That's where the fire was coming from. Napalm rocket launcher. You don't see that very often. You see Rocket Launcher, but the Napalm Warhead as an attachment on top of that. Still, reclaim! All this reclaim. So much juicy reclaim. Akuna's commander could take it for free, as long as they're paying attention to the commander, pull it back when it gets attacked. Good shots on the... Wow, that is a very powerful weapon set. Good to know! So for future reference, Rocket Launcher with Napalm Warhead is a very useful weapon. Now, Northeast has been taken by Snuggle Base for some time. Didn't see much point in commenting on that. They they have it. They don't have the South. They have the North. The North is... I mean, I guess it's, it's one of those things that's not super important. The Geo Plant is fairly important if you take it, but even then, the South has a couple Geo Spots of their own, so it's not... Even then, the South is still the more important place. Or the Southwest, rather. That's still the more important area to take. Snuggle Base looks like they're wanting to go around that Southwest area... And go from there over into the base once again, try another attack. And that probably won't work. Although, admittedly, nice is the height there. Dodging the shots by dropping down under the cliff. Stopping Aquaman's commander from killing them. And that Rocco, trying to bait it into the defenses. Although, it looks like the north is actually being attacked by Snuggle Base. Sorry, by Aquaman. Snuggle Base is going to be able to defend this, no problem. In fact, Snuggle Base is using the north as an attack vector. That's the more important thing here. In fact, I think that's what Aquaman was trying to stop. Yeah, I think they spotted that on the radar. They realized, oh crap, I'm going to be attacked from the north side. I got to stop that. And unfortunately, they can't really. So this is... These rogues are basically just going to be able to come in and rip everything apart. It looks like a two-pronged attack. Once the attack along the center starts, the attack from the northeast is going to start as well. Are they going to go for it? Snuggle Base is taking the northeast. The northeast is attacking. The center is not pushing. So the northeast isn't attacking very strong either. It looks like it's going for hit-and-run bait attacks. Getting that tick out, that's where they wanted to do. Got that tick without losing any units in the process. Which is exactly what they wanted to have happen. At this point, there doesn't appear to be any ticks on the map. There have been a few ticks built here and there, but yeah, there's there are no ticks. 
These rogues still have the sharpshooter to worry about, but I don't think they are worried about it. And now at this point, we see Aquanen pulling back, and Snuggle Base could move forward. Although they are not, instead they are pulling back their own units. They do not want to commit to this at all. Using the distraction to take this out, though, very clever. Good move on their part. Always want to expand while attacking. Your opponent is more distracted, and as long as they're not counterattacking, you're usually fine. And, oh, got rid of a metal extractor. Nice. Got a metal extractor for basically free. Don't need to kill too much more. They they can pull back right now, and they're going to. That's exactly what they're going to do, because that is the smart option. And Snuggle Base knows it. Just rain of rockets down on Aquinas' forces. Getting rid of all the Rockos, or very nearly. That Rocko's dead now. There we go. Smash into a shower of triangles. As Aquinum... Really, why are they... Okay, now, like I said, Aquinum is going for that reclaim. So Aquinum's taking that reclaim field. This could turn it around, but Snuggle Base... They haven't lost a lot of units. That's basically what it's coming down to now. Snuggle Base is making sure that they have a massive attrition advantage. However, that's going to be a problem. Thunderbird coming in to stun everything out as Snuggle Base goes for... Sorry, Aquinum goes to the air switch. And these rogues are all dead. All of them. Glaze coming in will rip them apart. Seven, six seconds. Yeah, five seconds left. The few seconds, but all these Rockos are, or these rogues rather, are dead. All but a couple. The remainder are probably still going to die to the Glaives, despite this being gone. Or are going to have to pull back. But yeah, that was painful. Snuggle Base pushing more forces along that northeast ridge. I can kind of see why they're doing that. The center has pretty much been taken by Aquanim. I'm just surprised they didn't reclaim when they had the chance. The commander's back at base, fully healed up. But yeah, they had. They had that center. And Aquanim pulling those rogues back, trying to get them into the defenders. Not going to happen. But still, Aquanim is... Well, they are rebuilding their army. They're getting a stronger army. They're... Yeah, the attrition has been in Snuggle Base's favor. Except for that Thunderbird. That Thunderbird was just... That was a godsend for Snuggle Base, for Aquanim, I mean. That was terrible for Snuggle Base. And the Napalm Bomber right in position to deal with these bandits. That Napalm Bomber needs to move in. And there it goes. Moves in, burns up a bunch of bandits. Not all of them, though. But Thunderbird to take out the remainder. Doesn't actually hit very well. That works out really well for Snuggle Base. Snuggle Base still deals a lot of damage. There's how many bandits are here, anyway? Yeah, there was about two dozen bandits to start with, and only about half, well, only about ten or so were destroyed. With those numbers, that wasn't a big problem. And I think Snuggle Base has taken this game. Akronim not quite able to hold the line. However, this won't be the game ending. This might be the game ending attack. I'm not totally sure. Factory's almost dead. But so are the bandits. There are still the napalm bombers around. And even though that's still the case, this, the Cloakabot Factory is down. Cloakabot's down. Yeah, defensive tech would have been awesome in this case. Surprisingly, that didn't happen because really it could have. But anyway, Akron throws in the towel. Snuggle base with that northeast. Why well, not even? Okay, so I underestimated the northeast. That was my bad. I pointed it out and went, "Yeah, whatever. It's not a big deal. It's only four metal and one geo plant. No one takes the geo plant anyway." Except it's an extremely useful attack vector when your opponent has taken the center and has partial grasp of the south. No one really takes the northeast very often. Like the northeast. It's a rare thing to see someone take the northeast like that. I rarely see it in games I cast or games I play on this map. Most people focus on the south because the south has, well, 16 metal. Like it's 10 in the center and then another 6 along the corner here. The northeast plus 4 metal? Not a big deal, but it is... It's an attack vector when your opponent has the center pretty much locked down. So that worked out well. That worked out extremely well. So that was one game between the two of them. There was, there's another game that was played just after, which I'm going to cast right now. That game, however, is going to be on Trojan Hills. So, stay tuned for that. It'll be up in just a moment.